Is this sort of trading, gaming out what the Fed is going to do and say, Art? Yeah, I think it's, um, first of all, it's a bounce from an oversold condition. It's celebratory. If we had closed below uh, 23,532, uh, we might have gotten a Dow um, theory sell signal. They managed to close above that, so there's a little sigh of relief built into that. Uh, also, the amount of pushback on the Fed before the meeting is absolutely amazing. It's, it's, it's borderline historical, I would say. Uh, from the uh, president? Well, no, not just from the president. It, it, that's counterproductive. The more he talks against it, the more he's pushing the Fed toward doing it. Um, but the, the idea that you've got uh, uh, Gunlack, you've got um, uh, editorials in, in the uh, Wall Street Journal, um, it's uh, pretty amazing stuff. You know, it, it, I think that um, Powell's going to have to go out of his way to try and make sure from now on every, every meeting is a random event. That, that he doesn't want the markets to have too strong an opinion on where they are. I think if he had wiggle room, I think he might pause, but I don't think he's got wiggle room in December. Really? Yeah. You mentioned the journal op-ed. They actually give him a suggested answer to the question about, about the president. Right. <laughs> That's well, also borderline it, historical. It, it, it is. And, uh, but, you know, the other thing is you can't look like, he can't look like he's yielding to the president and then Conversely, if, if they were to pause, then you'd get the market saying, wait a minute, what does he see that we don't see? Is, is it much worse than we thought? We thought they could handle just one. So uh, this, is, this is really a rather strange meeting. So he's got to begin uh, to disabuse the market from getting too heavily ahead of itself. That's, that's where the trouble was the last time talking about getting back to neutral, that it was a long way to neutral. That meant many uh, increases, and then they had, uh, we're pretty close. So, what I don't get, Art, is that they've already priced out, the market has already priced out interest rate hikes for next year. So why wouldn't stock, the bond market, that is, why wouldn't the stock market rally off of that? I, I think because the stock market has a concern that uh, even the December hike may have some unforeseen consequences built into it. The, the stock market is very nervous. It is very nervous about um, the global economy seeming to uh, pull back here. Uh, that that you, you know you've got uh, central banks all around the, the the world looking at what's going on. The, this trade war still looms to some degree, and uh, you know they don't know how much built-in tolerance for rate hikes there are. So there's a this is more than the normal amount of nervousness. Meanwhile, fact. we're sitting right above levels that you say should be intraday resistance here. Right? Uh, yes. Yeah, I think 23.9 um, seems to be getting you some pushback uh, right around here. And uh, it'll be interesting, uh, as Sarah prophetically said, if it lasts, that <laughs> they start to pull back here, I think you can see um, the, the market begin to accelerate. You know, there's a lot of people standing on the sidelines waiting to see if this is the Fed drift, you know, the, the natural bias that they seem to have as they go into a meeting, or, or is it just the oversold? And if it's just the oversold, you could get a, a pullback here. I'm on the 3 o'clock hour now, so I know better than to call the market at 1040 a.m. I mean, okay. it's been absolutely crazy, Art. Finally, on trade, it seems like the common thread here is it's not good enough for the market to see a change in tone. We got one from President Trump moderating on China. We got one from Powell even moderating on the rate hikes. Feels like we need to see action on both fronts. What are the expectations on trade at this point? Well, they're not they're not terribly high. You know, they thought that you might get in and get something uh, uh, rather quick. I think what they'll be looking at, it does appear that um, the Chinese economy is suffering a little bit. The perverse thing is their their exports are down, but not to the U.S. The exports are down to Europe. So you, even when you're seeing results, they're not necessarily for the reasons that you assume. So I think we certainly have to go into the new year and maybe a decent way into the new year before we really see some progress here.